have a look at this. This is what we've got to look out for in the tropics. This is a Cryonex Fleckeri and it's a box jellyfish. Now, it's not a big one. A big one will get about the size of a two litre ice cream container and they've got these really toxic stinging tentacles that they troll around behind them. So what he does is he swims around in the shallows. These will extend out to about this sort of length and then what they do is they have little protein sensors on them, nematocytes they're called, and as soon as he touches a fish, Hormet fires off this microscopic little um, dart, which is full of neurotoxic venom, and stuns that fish. Now the reason he is so toxic is because he needs to stun that prey as quick as possible, and then it can't get away. So I'm actually, I don't recommend anybody trying to grab one of these or holding one, they're, they're quite toxic, and if that got you, you'd be in a lot of pain. Now, the first aid for this guy is, is vinegar uh, in the tropics if you get a, a, a box jellyfish or also the little uragangi, which are only about the size of my fingernail. Uh, the, the first aid is vinegar and vinegar neutralizes those stinging cells. But you can see he's actually got four of these, four sets which hold the tentacles there and they are retractable. So. In the tropics around November right through till May. Now the water here is actually really flat and really smooth. They don't like it when it's choppy and wavy. But they're, they're actually, uh, they've got light sensitive eyes inside there. They have simple eyes and they're also attracted to little splashes. If the water's nice and flat and smooth and there's little splashes going on, these guys will actually detect that and swim over towards it. So he's extending those tentacles out there. I'm going to pop him back in a drink. And uh, there he is, the box jellyfish. So, tropical waters. Also, keep in mind that these guys are right up through Southeast Asia as well. So, you want to check and do a bit of research. Even if you're going over to Bali and swimming around everywhere, or you're going to the Philippines or wherever it may be, have a check, do some research, Google it. All right, pop this guy back in the water then. There he goes. So I forgot to mention that the box jellyfish love coming out when the water really heats up. At the moment, the water's about 28 degrees. Like a hot bath, you wouldn't want to go swimming anyway. Very hard to see. Another thing I wanted to mention as well is uh, the shells up here. We've got some cone shells. Uh, don't pick up shells in the ocean in this area. Uh, this one in particular, the, the cone shell, there's one called a Geographus cone shell. There's a few different species of them. There's one cone shell, black and white, about that big. And it's a snail. And what it does is it uses this little proboscis, comes out of here. And what, he do, what he's got, he's got a dart with a barb on it and it's also hypodermic. Uh, connected to a venom gland and they're a venomous sea snail and they shoot the prey and it paralyzes the prey instantly. Um, so with our jellyfish and our cone shells have quite toxic venom which paralyzes their prey straight away because it's a slow moving uh, predator and the, the prey items are fast moving so they have really strong knockout toxins. So don't pick up shells in the ocean, northern Australia, right across northern Australia uh, even around the world, uh, in the tropics near the equator as well, cone shells and, and watch out for the jellyfish as well. So stay safe out there. Don't pick up shells. Alrighty, let's go and see what else we can find. Thanks a lot for tuning into my channel and staying with us on these wildlife adventures. If you like what you see, share it with your mates. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget, keep it wild and I'll catch you next time.